Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am the Emperor of the Universe, aka Bobby. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm doing some downloads, man. I'm getting some channeling downloads going. So I think this is just the universe thanking me for my energy by giving me, you know, these, uh, this opportunity to talk about a few things. This video is going to be very basic and it's going to be very passionate for me. It's going to be about homeless children. And this is the title because there is no greater sin in society having children sleeping on the streets or sleeping in vehicles with their parents. If you see a homeless child on the corner with a parent, you figure that shit out. You talk to somebody. You get some phone calls. You say, stop and talk to them. Say, we need to find a place for you, this child, some a shelter, a bath, warm food. No child should go hungry. No child should sleep cold. No child should go without socks and shoes. <sighs> Our priorities are so fucked up, it's, it's unreal. We're worried more about kids wearing masks, but what about the kids eating and having clothes? Fuckers. I told you, it's going to be passionate. I've seen it. I've seen people with their homeless kids, and I'm just like, uh, and I know people on the verge of being homeless with children. It's like one of those things where you're like, for fuck's sake, right? And that's where I get passionate. I've traveled. I'm, I'm a gypsy. I'm a nomad. I'm blessed to have what I have. And I'll keep going and doing what I do. And I have my faculties. And, you know, and there's, like I said, there's very few things I can live without. I, you know what I mean? I need water. I need food. I need oxygen. And I need, you know, I love my Dharma. <laughs> it's nice having some shelter and gas and all these things. And I got to work on some more of that. But. There's people with so much more or less than me. And people that are just hurting mentally. They're just suffering in sorrow and misery and depression. And these things are easy to come across when you're, you know, you're watching your children starve. The heartache. I mean, I, grew, I was very blessed when my son was growing up that I was able to provide for him and work hard and do these things. So I didn't see my son struggle. He didn't, have, he didn't go without. He didn't. He was loved and cherished and fed and clothed and bathed every day and, and he was blessed, a little shit. A lot of kids don't have that. A lot of parents aren't able to do that. I can't imagine not being, you know, seeing my son go hungry. Uh, you know, the heartache, right? The depression you feel. The lack of self-worth. So these things can come up quickly and they can just devastate a person when they just need to stay strong for their kids and stuff like that. So. We need to work hard together. This is an important part of the community. This is a poor part of the important part of the collective is to care about the children, the most vulnerable in our society. Period. End of story. And let's work together on this one, because most of the people in charge are predators. They're they're predators against the children. Trust me, this these people are evil as fuck. And I'm not going to get into it, but I'm going to tell you right now. We need to we, yeah law and order. We need fucking we need the the good people in charge again. We need the bad people. <clears throat> I will point out one thing, and this is a side note, and, I, and it's gonna, you know me, I love getting conspiratorial. And I brought up adrenochrome. But during the lockdown, at the very beginning, when Trump was still president, remember this, and he locked down everything. Locked down all the ports, all the airports. The flow, the supply couldn't get through. And if you noticed all the videos that were coming out from the entertainment industry and all the politicians, and they all look like 10 years fucking older, just ragged and just like, yeah, like a, like a heroin addict that wasn't getting their fix. I'm just going to say that and leave that at that. It's evil bastards. <sighs> Love and light. I'm here for the children, baby. I want them to be happy, to be fed, to be warm, to be, to laugh. I want to be playing in the schoolyard with the other kids. That's how, that's your childhood. That should be part of it. You know, growing up in a warm, safe bed and... You know, having healthy boundaries around you where people aren't hurting you. You know, we got to work on this, people, because children are important. They are the future, period, end of story. So let's work together, right? I love you. God loves you. And the universe is still digging this. So let's do it. Let's work for the kids, okay? Love you. Goodbye. Okay,